guys know what sucks? I am sitting here ready to do my makeup. We have my foundation. It's ready to go on my face. It is a new dawn, a new day, a new beginning. But my beauty blender is in the other room. In the bathroom. Thought it was here. It is not. This... That was loud. Poor Zach. I am so sorry. Today, I really am blessed because I was able to shower yesterday. That was not the case. There was a miscommunication about my story and basically I thought I was doing what I'm doing today. Orange Theory Fitness and I'm just waking up at a glacial pace, pouring my tea. And then about an hour before I am set to leave, I check the rundown to put in my Orange Theory Anchor Scripts and I see Clancy City Budget. And I'm like, City what? That's 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 not part of the plan so definitely a shock to the system to say the least but we we ended up getting to where i needed to be on time we had the information we just were not clean but i was clean for the record i shower twice a day every day usually around 5 30 p.m and then as soon as i wake up around two something so you know what for the record we were fine but as i was saying let us not bury the lead here we're going to orange theory this morning we're going to check out what they're like post covid19 they just reopened this week in cincinnati and obviously it's a little bit different than your average gym because they have group classes that's the only thing they do so i want to check out some of the little changes you'll see but also as a newbie i mean i want to see what the heck it's all about in general i was actually debating joining orange theory for a while but to be honest i was too scared to even go to the first class it just seems intense it just seems scary but going under this pretense as a news reporter makes me feel more brave so let's let's be brave today usually at this time we would be going into the world of dresses to pick out our outfits but not today today we are going into the galaxy of workout clothes now comes the complicated part because a part of me wants to be authentic i want to wear my hair up as if i'm really working out actually i love how i say i want to be authentic meanwhile Look at all this makeup. If I wanted to be authentic, it would not be on my face. But still, I want to look as much the part as possible, but at the same time, I don't want to look ugly. So that's what we're dealing with right now, because oh, sometimes just on camera, just the hair up is just not the look. Whoa, these knots are concerning. And then the biggest risk ever is if I get called to breaking news, my hair is up in a freaking, what is this called, a scrunchie? Guys, we have made it. We are here at Orange Theory, my very first time. I want to give you a look inside also about a couple of changes you'll experience if you are already a member we are here with erin my new bff this morning we're also here with holly who has the hand sanitizer this is essential and as soon as people walk in erin they're gonna have to go through a six-step process yep absolutely so you first wait in line six feet apart of course and then once you head up we will give you a thermometer so this is our gun that shoots right at your forehead and gives us your temperature wait can you actually do mine yeah i never like know i close my eyes for no reason 97.7. I'm 97. Wow, I'm low. Okay, actually, I am freezing. You I really you said are. You were cold. After we do that, um, we do have a list of COVID symptoms over here. So I'm just gonna ask if you have any of those symptoms or you've been experiencing them within the next two to 14 days. So you get some hand sanitizer to make sure you are clean and fresh, ready to go. It's your first day back, which it is yours. You'll sign a waiver <laughs> to say you're entering back at your own free will. They have clean dip pens and dirty pens, and then you also get your station. We're only using odd number stations, so that way everyone is good social distance apart. Once you're done, we'll grab a fresh wipe, head into the studio and start your warm-up. Reminder. So this is the 6.15 class. These people are up nice and early. For someone who does it, I I've never been here. You have yeah. three different stations. Yep. Yeah. We've got treadmills, water rowers, and weight force stations. So you're working on all three stations every single class that you're here, transitioning through kind of like in a high-intensity way. You can ideally think in a typical 60-minute class, you're spending 30 minutes on the treadmill, 30 minutes between the rower and the weight floor. Local 12's Clancy Burke is at the Oakley location, taking a look around. Have you done any exercise yet, though, Clancy? Uh, how did I know this question was coming? How did I know it? Because the answer, sadly, Sheila, I'm going to be honest here, no. But the first class of the morning did just get out, and this is the new normal. Usually, people would be working out right now. The 5 a.m. class is an hour long, but not anymore. It has been cut down by 15 minutes, so this can happen. Extensive cleaning. Yeah, it took a good amount of time of us kind of just figuring how we can best keep our members safe, keep our staff safe but get everyone back in here because they've been aching to be under these orange lights. Oh, these orange lights, they are glowing. <laughs> Possibly, Sheila, these muscles will too <laughs> if I so choose to pick up a weight, but that's uh, no promises. For now, though, we'll send it back to you in the studio. <laughs> I bet you're already cut, Clancy. All right, so here is a look at the studio without people in it. As you can see, we have the rowers here. That is one of the shifts, I guess you could call it. I, don't, I really don't know the word. Treadmills over here, and then this is where people do the floor work, mats, and all that, weights. As you can tell, I'm wearing my jacket inside because that is how cold I am. I am the worst. I know. I am the worst. The woke. And I look like, what do I look like right now? I look like a... 
I don't know, a murderer. But yeah, two things that I really like about this place. One, the lighting is just cool. I don't know, it's like a cool atmosphere. And then also just the music has been killing it. So right now I am awkwardly sitting in my car to warm up because spring is a nightmare for me. It is freezing in there for me and they have the doors open, everything's open and that's how it is in the springtime. Everyone's so happy because it's warmer. But me, like 65 degrees is still freezing to me. Like I, look at me, I'm in a winter jacket and how many, let, okay, let's actually look at the temperature because I think it might be colder than 65. I just said a random number. It's so cold. Okay, 63. It is 63 degrees in Cincinnati and we can't, we can't deal with that. And obviously fitness studios, the bad part about doing live shots there is it's always so much cooler just because people want a cooler environment when they work out even I do so um it's a little bit chilly our next live shot is in approximately 12 minutes and we're just gonna we're just gonna warm up here in the meantime mm, it is really weird doing these socially distant live shots where I can't stand next to Aaron the person I'm interviewing it's just it's it's really awkward there's no getting around it gotta stay socially distant okay wait this is actually really funny you can see Matt sitting awkwardly outside Supercuts and before we were talking about the fact that he looks so creepy sitting out there because Supercuts doesn't open for another few hours so he's just He's chilling outside super guns, really love sitting there. Ready guys? Okay, I decided to start calling him. Hey. Matt? Yeah. Oh, uh, what's your favorite, um, uh, flower? Flower? Yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> Look up, I'm videotaping you. Just awkwardly sitting in front of super cuts. <laughs> but really, what's your favorite flower? Uh, I would have to say a rose, I guess. Nice, great option. I'll talk to you in five. All right, sounds great. Bye. Matt is definitely like, why do they make me work with her? But we like to have fun! And that, oh my gosh, that's, yep. All right, so now we are stopping at my apartment complex just to pick up a package. I actually have some protein powder, but I have not been to our gym since it is reopened. What? Oh wow, they've actually just, what's that, saran wrapped some of the machines so that people can't use it, I guess, for social distancing. <gasps> oh my gosh, that's so sad. What the heck can you use? Oh yeah, and I read that they took away the free weights, which this is, this is me, this is what I do. That's so sad. And in this building, we actually have two gyms. This one's like the yoga studio. Let's see what's going on in here. Man, it looks so different. This used to be where they had all the mats and different medicine balls, jump ropes, all of that is gone. These bikes used to all be pushed up back there, but now for social distancing, they're here. A lot is changing, but anyway, to the package room we go. Oh. What a success. All right, so we are back home on our lunch break. It's actually about to end. Just realized, Zach, you are in the shot. Give a little wave. <laughs> you're actually, you're gonna be too distracting. They're gonna be looking at you when I should be the main focal point, so. I mean, if I had to choose between where to look, I'd imagine it'd probably be me. No, no, guys, defend me. You'd rather look at me in my coat. I just walk around in my coat in this house. Like, I just don't take it off. <laughs> in case you don't know, he said, I know. I look like an idiot for this shot. Okay, we're gonna pretend we're not cold, even though we are. The problem with me is if I get cold for just two seconds, it, it lasts with me all day, so. This morning I got cold a little bit, but I wanted to give a definitive, my little thoughts and review of Orange Theory. Obviously, I wasn't actually doing it this morning, as you guys know, but I still saw it. I saw the way the workout was. I saw it everything and how it goes and here are my thoughts so it looks awesome everyone looked great but I don't necessarily know if it would be for me and really the biggest reason is the treadmill because I feel like if I'm signing up for a group fitness class it's because I'm getting away from the running because that is all I do like that's my problem in this world that all I will do to work out is run and I do some abs but I really don't do like the strength training and that type of stuff so I just feel like it'd be pointless for me to join a group fitness class where half of it you're on the treadmill and granted you're doing intervals and this and that but still I don't know. Fun fact, before COVID-19 hit, before everything went crazy, I actually signed up for a group fitness membership for a year at what's called Burn Bootcamp. I was in love. It turned into like a cult for me.
and I think I ended up paying like over, definitely over a thousand dollars for a full year. Every single day, you can go anytime, any day, whatever. Then COVID hit and I was like, oh my gosh, just when I throw all this money away and I sign up for this thing, I can't even go to the gym because it was closed. But I went online and tried to do their workouts there because they were offering them there and it wouldn't let me go. So I called them and it turns out my membership just didn't go through. Like I, I, I did it and everything, gave my credit card. My membership never went through. I never got charged and I'm not a member. And I'm thinking like, I, and I don't wanna be crazy, but I really do believe that everything happens for a reason. I mean, obviously it could just be a glitch, but I just, is there a reason my membership didn't go through? Like what are the odds? Should I not be doing this? Is this not, I don't know. And I know it's not that serious. It's a freaking gym membership. <laughs> I make things sound so crazy, but I don't know. And actually I'm just taking guys, this is what, wow, this is great. It's a hair washing day, which is why I don't really care, but I'm so sick of this freaking ponytail. I'm not really that big of a fan of ponytails on me. But now that it is warm outside, I really just have been enjoying going for runs and doing that type of workout. Although I will say when you have someone pushing you and just telling you to do things like that, I think is really where you see results. At least if you're like me, because if you're like me, I do two push ups and I'm like, whoa, whoa. These muscles are coming in, like you go girl. Like I, I hype myself up way too much. Yeah, the reason I have the sunglasses on, the reason we are about to have the shoes on, we actually really need to leave now, is because I'm going to my next shoot of the day. We are going to a, a casino, get the money out. That's gonna be my story for tomorrow. So I'm just shooting ahead. Casinos are reopening, people can start gambling. I've never gambled in my life. I know nothing about casinos, but we are gonna, we're gonna learn something new today. We're gonna learn something new. What's up, friends? The last time we spoke, we were, I think, at my house. I went to the casino, got some interviews, and now we are back at it this morning. Hard Rock Casino in Cincinnati is officially reopening, and one thing that I have not encountered so far is I have to wear this face mask. Everyone, doesn't matter who you are, an employee, a guest, you have to wear a face mask when you are inside this casino. That means I've actually been doing live interviews on air all morning with this mask on, which is fine, I don't care. The only thing I care about is I can't breathe. It's it's just, it's been so hard for me to breathe. Like, it's fine when you're saying something to someone like for a sentence, but when I'm doing these long like monologue type things, I'm, I'm having difficulties because I say a lot of words and then I go for a big breath. Like, it's just what I always do. And there's just not a big breath to be had. Like, because of this mask, it's just so constricting, so. I've secretly been going like that to get breaths in this morning, and man, that it, it has been a struggle. Hey, John, well, you'll notice these changes the second you walk through those doors. Right now, I am walking through a thermal scanning system, and that's just to make sure I don't have a temperature, and yes, looks like I'm good to go. You'll also notice a few other changes. We're looking at one of them right now. Everyone, from guests to employees, must wear face masks. Also, you'll notice a lot of signage, sanitized hands here also about social distancing and of course there's a lot of hand sanitizer i didn't think this through i don't have two hands to rub that in my mask is not even on what am i i'm such a lost cause this morning good clean fun is our marketing campaign good clean fun and you know what i think i need to have that good clean fun i'm about to go win some money talk to you guys later Wow, it's 7.05 in the morning and she's running. One minute I'm in a casino, the next minute it's... Day nine. nine. Yeah, he did it. So Zach and I are going out tonight for our two year anniversary. This is like our first official date since COVID, right? Where we get ready, nice. We've gone to like bars and stuff, as you guys have seen on the social, the social media, but this is our first one where I'm like, I am getting ready and oh, this, this menu is good, but it's a little bit expensive. I wanna, I wanna show you guys, I wanna take you to this spot. It's E&O, one of the first spots we ever went, probably on like our fourth date, third or third maybe, third date. It was, took me it was pretty early, yeah. Pretty it's early. Like our, probably our first like nice date. Where you were like, oh, like she gotta, deserves the nice spot. I gotta actually go somewhere decent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on basketball. Be oh yeah, before that he took me to BB Bop. If you guys know what BB Bop is, it's like a bad version of Carrito or Chipotle. <laughs> yeah, bad version. And then the second one was Bar 145. So, which, which was the finest dining in Dayton, Ohio. But, oh yeah, but we both know those are the, like I love Bar 145, that type of stuff, sports bar. So, you know, is definitely out of my comfort zone, but we did it. And now, ready guys, we have a 645 reservation that I booked. I'm proud of myself. I, I did it and we're going. See you there. Studying the menu, trying to figure out what he wants to put into his stomach. We need to figure out drinks first, so we get into it. 
I don't think I'm gonna get a drink today. And guys, it's actually really cold in here, so I have both of our napkins. Mm -hmm. By now, it's just like a thing. When it's really cold, Zach gives me his napkin. Double the napkins on the legs. We got a jacket on. We are ready to go. And you know what? When I snap my fingers, the food is gonna be here. Course number one, describe it, Zach. Time to use your food skills. Oh, it's a Brussels sprout uh, shrimp salad. It obviously has like cabbage in it. Uh, He's struggling. Oh, this was the first time I ever tried shrimp. Last time we, or the first time we came here. Just do a little bit for me. Yum. Course number one. So guys, we have a predicament. Zach ordered the bowl and he got a steak. That ordered is the steak bowl, which is like half the price. <laughs> they knew you were hungry, man. But I, I, like, I, I just, I hate people that complain at restaurants, even though this isn't complaining. It's a mental thing. This is a, this is a sticky situation. Meanwhile, mine came out perfect. No, I'm kidding. But this is mine. This is the soy glazed chicken bowl. Looking good. Looking great. And there you have it. This is our. Two year, that's four, two year anniversary day. So I'm gonna take you guys out for the experience. Cheers. <laughs>